meal idea video. Last time I did healthy breakfast ideas and this time I'm doing healthy lunch ideas. And then I'm gonna do healthy dinner and healthy snack ideas. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. So something I was really thinking about before I made this video is that it's probably easier to eat healthy for breakfast and dinner because most people eat those things at home. You come home from work and you have dinner, you go to work and you have breakfast. So these are just things that I've just noticed just you know, personal experience that it would be lunchtime that I would throw off my diet because I would, you know, be rushing on a lunch break or I'd be at school and it would just be easier to eat the fast food, greasy cafeteria food. You know, sometimes in college, I didn't feel like walking back to my apartment just out of pure laziness. I had the extra time, but I didn't want to do it. And I would just go get a slice of pizza or something. And then by that time, I'm like, eh screw it, I'll just have whatever for dinner. So I wanted to show you guys super easy meals that you can either prepare the night before or if you can wake up a little bit earlier and make in the morning, just super easy things that are really good, they're yummy, they're colorful, which does play a part because if you like the way your food looks, you'll probably eat it. Also guys, it's Monday, I don't want you to stress about anything, so don't worry about what you ate over the weekend or what you did last week. Today is the fresh start of a new week, so just let this week count. Today's Monday, perfect day to start, you know, a healthier lifestyle, you know, better changes in your life, so don't worry about anything from the weekend. This video was purposely made to go up on a Monday because I did want you guys to, you know, just feel good. Clean start, so don't worry about anything else, and let's get into the video. So first we are making a lettuce wrap with tuna and cranberries. So I'm first starting out with just regular canned tuna. And now I'm adding a little bit of light mayonnaise. I just add a little bit because I just don't like it completely dry. And now I'm adding a little bit of adobo. This is weird, but it gives it more of a garlicky taste and less fishy. Now I'm taking two pieces of lettuce and this is what we're going to use as our wrap. It's great because you're getting the feel of a wrap but no carbs. Now I'm adding in the tuna fish. Doesn't that look so good? And now I'm adding in a little bit of cranberries. These have a lot of sugar so you want to be careful with how much you add. I use less than the serving size so it's not bad at all and it gives it more of a sweet taste which I like. Now I'm just rolling them all up and you're good to go. Next is another favorite of mine. This is a fruit salad with chicken and almonds. So first, I just like to have all my ingredients laid out on a cutting board. So we have grilled chicken that we made the night before, we have apples sliced up, and we have some lettuce. So I like to make a big bowl, and this way you can put this in containers and have it for a few days rather than just bring this entire bowl to work or school. You don't want to do that, you just want to have a little bit. So I cut up the chicken and I threw that in there, and I'm also putting in some almonds. Jared also threw in some green apples because those are his favorite. And now I'm also putting in a little bit of mozzarella cheese. To me, this is my dressing. I'm not crazy about salad dressing, so I didn't add any in, but feel free to use whatever you like. My third meal idea is a buffalo chicken wrap. So one of my subscribers told me about this carb balance wrap and I went out and got it and I love it. It's lower in carbs than any other wraps that I've seen and sugar. So now I'm adding in some lettuce. I, you can use the same chicken that you make for the salad so it's great. And then I'm adding a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Frank's hot sauce is the best. This is the best hot sauce in my opinion and I put on a lot. So for the last meal idea, I want to show you guys how to make Jared's broccoli soup. So first you want to have a bowl filled with broccoli and onions. The next thing that we're doing is adding a little bit of salt. Jared doesn't cook with measuring cups or anything, so we just have to follow what he does. And he's also adding a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. The next thing that he does is he adds in heavy cream. He buys the small one and he uses the entire thing. So now we're pouring this into a pot and then we're going to take a hand blender and blend everything together. Jared said that if you don't own a hand blender, you can just use a bullet or any sort of blender that you have that you can put vegetables in. So once everything looks nice and smooth and blended, he puts the stove on high and he lets it boil for 15 minutes. 
You could just stir occasionally and he said that if it starts to boil too much then you could just put it down to medium and then back on high. We just kind of watch it and we make this when we make other things in the kitchen. So we're just in the kitchen the entire time, but we timed it and it took exactly 15 minutes. And now we're adding mozzarella cheese, which is great because it thickens it up a little bit and makes it nice and creamy, as you can see, and it's so yummy. Last but not least, I wanna to talk to you guys about my lunchbox and a few of my containers. So you're never too old for a lunchbox. I bring this thing everywhere. Anytime I know I'm gonna be out for the day, I will pack my own snacks and I'll just put little, um, what do they call it? Oh my God, I can't think, ice packs. I'll put ice packs in here, I'll pack string cheese, water, a wrap or a salad. I'll put anything I wanna put in here and I'll bring this in my car and that way I can eat healthy on the go. There's no excuse if I'm hungry. You know, I don't need to stop off at some random place. I could eat something from my own home. Cause I also want to show you guys my containers. So these are my three favorite. We got these from Walmart and I will put the names down below. It came with a bunch, like I think 40 different styles, but these are the ones we use the most. So you can put like your wrap or salad in this one. You can put like a side of fruit or vegetables in this one. So I love that. And this one is my favorite. I'll pack like cheap grated cheese in this one or hot sauce. And it's so like little and cute. So you can like put everything in these containers. These three all fit in that lunchbox. I bought that lunchbox at I bought that lunchbox at my local grocery store, but you can get them at Walmart, Target. You can get a lunchbox anywhere. I think even I saw them at a gas station once and I wanted to like send it to one of my friends cuz she was like, "Where do you even get a lunchbox?" Well, that's where. You can even put soup in this one and then just like sip it out. Or you could pack a spoon. Yeah, it's better to pack a spoon. But yeah, I thought that I would just share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, leave me down your lunch recipes. I love hearing what you guys cook up in the kitchen. And sometimes I even go out and buy the things you recommend me, like that low-carb bread or wrap, whatever. So yeah, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!